Hello everyone, welcome back to another brilliant chess puzzle. This puzzle is a little bit simple, but it's brilliant nonetheless. In this position, white has a bishop and a rook for a queen. Usually in these positions, it's a draw, but if white doesn't play carefully or black doesn't play carefully, then either side might win. But here, white is fortunately winning with the amazing move bishop to f3 check. In this position, black has only 6 legal moves, 4 is with the king, and 2 is with the pawns. First, if black goes to b8, then he gets mated immediately. Like this, the, bishops, the bishop cut off the b7 escape square, while the rook delivers the mate. And if black goes to c8, then after bishop to c6, this move is very important, it cuts off the two escape squares. It will basically be made in a couple of moves. Here the best move is to delay the mate with queen e3. And here it's just completely winning for white, even if you don't find the mate in 2, 3, or 1. So moving the king to either c8 or b8 is both bad. So what happens if it goes to a6? Well, here white can actually play rook to a2, scoring the king and the queen, and this is completely winning for white. Although, you do have to be a bit careful, don't lose both of the pawns, otherwise the position will just be a draw. And here, if the black king goes up to b6, then after rook to b2, the black king is either forced to go to a5 or a6 where the queen will once again be skewered or it can go to c5 and get mated in one. Obviously moving the king in this position is not the best thing for black to do, but what if he plays pawn to c6? Well this allows the skewer rook to h7 which picks up the queen on a7. So black cannot play c6 which leaves the move d5 as the best move. But after white takes the pawn with the bishop, black going to the back rank will simply again allow mate in a few moves or one. But here if black plays c6, then once again, skewer. So moving the king up to b6 is the best thing for black to do here. But unlike the last variation, white will play rook to a2, the brilliant move. And here if the queen goes to any of the squares on the b column, then white will simply skewer. So the best thing for black to do is to take the rook. But here, the queen is in the line of sight of the bishop on d5. So after the move c5 check, white will win back the queen, and after this it's just a completely winning position for white. Well, you sort of have to be careful since you don't want to lose this pawn, otherwise it'd just be a draw. But for any good players, this position is completely winning. And this will be it for today, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share for more videos in the future. Goodbye.